Let's see, is this gonna be the one where he's attacking George right away? If he's attacking George right away, we're good. No, he's not attacking George right away. This is probably gonna be another 20 second reset. I think there was someone in that cabin. Lorelei, stop. Look at her pathetic jump. Alright, so where is he then? He's not on B. He must have started in the top right. right there. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a, I have it set for, I want to say it's five minutes, and then they'll disappear. Okay, so we have to go save the day. Left, up, left, down. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm not really attached to this run, and it's early. So I want to try something here. Oh, you can lurk if you want. They'll... You can make... You can bring them back whenever. But I want to try something here. I mean, I was able to do the backdoor cave escape last time. Let's see if we can stay ahead of him if we go this way. So I should have just went this way. So I'm still ahead of him. I can still get my torch. I hope the Skyward Sword's going well. So he's coming up from the bottom. Alright, so there's the kids. We can get an easy buddy crow right here. And this should give even Laura plenty of time. Yeah, the Wii controls for those games were not good. I remember when I, I was so excited to get Twilight Princess on Wii and a friend was uh, staying with me because he had a job interview in the area and we're like, yeah, we're just gonna, this whole weekend is just gonna be Skyward Sword, it's gonna be awesome. And then after the second time you had to herd goats, we are just like, this is so dumb, the controls are bad and... I understand the goat herding is to try to help you learn how the game works and get used to the controls, but that mini game sucked. That's part of why to this day I still think A Link to the Past is the gold standard of the Zelda series. My personal opinion though, not obviously not fact. That's got it was this was Twilight Princess. Ooh, George is there. Yeah, Twilight Princess had this stupid goat herding. Alright, zombie turn around. Assuming Mark doesn't, I mean, George doesn't leave. Oh crap, he left. Wait, now Debbie's there, though. 
I could have just looked at the looked and saw her standing there. In this cabin, I believe Jason will back door into. Yep. I should definitely give Twilight Princess a try on the Switch. It's just, like, it was the same with Donkey Kong Country, uh, Returns. I hated that on Switch when you had to, like, use the motion controls to do your barrel roll. It's like, those games that tried to force the motion controls in and make you use them when you didn't need to. Oh, it's not on Switch. Well, that's disappointing, then. It's like, I hated Donkey Kong Country Returns on Wii, but when I played it on 3DS, I really liked it. Why am I jumping zombies? That was close. Alright, Toothbrush Jason to end day one. Nope, I'm missing. Nope. There we go. A tropical freeze. I think that was on Switch. I don't remember for sure, but I know I had it. I'm pretty sure it was on Switch. I could just turn around and look behind me, but I got Lorelei here. Okay, so he just attacked George, which means he's going to the kids. Which means we have to do this. Jeez, Laura, you can turn, you can slow down a lot quicker with other counselors on the lake too. I think it just seems like Laura is so much slower on that. I think that's uh, coming out in November seventeenth or something, unless they moved it up. That was what my pre-order said on Amazon, from Amazon at least. Though that doesn't really mean much, Amazon has been really bad about getting games to you the day they're released within the last half a year. Come on, Jason. Wait, I don't want to be go- I gotta be- I gotta try to just remember to kill those crows if I can. I don't want to waste day-night cycles here. Wait, is this day two? What day am I on? Yeah, this has to be day two. Yeah, it's day two. He was on B, so he's going to A next. Yeah, I heard that was coming out soon. I've never actually played any of the Red Dead Redemption games, though. All right, nice and easy. Hi, right, Bedwell. Thank you so much for the raid. Were you doing the, uh, I think I saw you doing Swordless Inverted. Bed W.A. Blackburn dropped a bus of one people off at camp. Yeah, go, if you're not following Bedwa, definitely give him a follow. He's been, he, I would still be doing certain A Link to the Past seeds if Bedwa wasn't nice enough to help me out with various things. Oh, that's fabulous. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I still remember the, oh, thanks for the good luck, floofers. 221. Jeez. For swordless inverted. That's nuts. Well, there's one seed in particular that I still remember where I was in Ganon's tower and I didn't have the fire rod or the ice rod yet. And... Trinex, it was a boss shuffle, so Trinex ended up on Landmo 2. 
and the fire rod was in the GT big chest. And I would have never thought about going there. And I would have probably, like, I don't think I ever would have remembered that it was, that you could even get it there. Jeez, there's no one on A. By the time he gets over there, Mark's gonna leave. If you want to, you should be able to change that with stream avatars. I think it'll let you pick any of the six, or if you want to keep it as Laura, that's also an option. Some people like to keep it as Laura because it makes me sad. But it also probably makes them sad too, because I mean, it is Laura. Right, this zombie's got a little better, little better speed, so let's just uh, take an escort. Ab Laura. I know Chaser intentionally sets his to Laura. Alright, is he still there? Alright, Mark is still there. Oh crap, now it's dusk. Alright, this way, zombie. Uh oh. That was really close. Now, if Mark moves, I'm going to be very annoyed. Okay, good. Mark stayed. Yeah, Chaser enjoys the Laura. But, if you do like wood pixel art, he made me this beautiful thing back here. Notice the, uh... I just bumped that. Notice how lovely Laura's corpse looks. In wood pixel art form. Something every Laura hater should have. One, two, nope, that was just two. Missed three, four, five. See, this part is easy. The cabin fights are no problem. It's getting from cabin to cabin. We're gonna do it. Go, go, go. He's chasing you. Success. Yeah, Laura is... I mean, saying Laura's the worst is kind of insulting to the worst. Like, we've got this. Let's see which one it gives us. This is a good one. See, even Link hates Laura. He does a dance and then he kicks her head. Yeah, Laura, she can't jump. She's got a really bad throwing arm. She makes it so you've got a really spicy run and then it, it's instantly dead because you see her ugly face. The kids at Camp Crystal Lake all hate her. Where's my... my manual? Like here, we've got the manual for the game. And this... is Laura's face. If you see how everyone else... they're smiling, they're happy, they're enjoying their summer at camp, and then there's Laura. She doesn't smile. The kids hate her. She smells like old noodles. Oh crap, that's, he's, okay, so he's on B now. Where's my zombies? One, two, buddy crow. Oh crap. Oh no, that's actually good. 
a lot less room to get hit to get picked off by a zombie. Cause yep, he'll be just there to the left. One, two, three, four, five, and we're here. Unfortunately, this wouldn't be a perfect game if I do end up completing this run, but that's not important. The important thing is that it's, we're just done with uh, playing with Laura. So this will be a fight to the death. That was close. Three more. Two more. There we go, day two. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, she does come back. Okay, so he was there. He should be hitting Mark. The, I, I didn't do anything with that. That was definitely not me. But here, we can uh, drop a few stars on the playing field. Alright, so Laura's here. He should, in theory be going to attack Mark. But just let the zombie guide us here. Right, I don't want to waste a day-night cycle because I don't want to get hit by a zombie. So we're just going to stand here and perfect. All right, day three. We got four battles left. But I haven't done a day... I haven't actually played this game and done cabin fights like this for... I think it's been almost a month. So let's see if I've got... If I'm rusty on day three at all. So far, it's holding strong. Not going to risk the long dodge here. Well, that's about as perfect as a, as a battle can be in a cabin with the double dodge. Okay, so if Paul's up there... That means we know Jason's just going to be going straight to the straight through to the kids. I should not be doing this. I don't want to lose this to a lake zombie. Made it. I should I should have just went in there and used up a day night. That was stupid to try to kill that zombie, that crow that started up that high. Come on, Jason. Did have to use a day night there. Even the zombies stop it. I don't want to use my day night cycles. I want it to be day because there's less zombies. And I don't want to end up losing this run this far into day three because of a zombie on the path. There we go, finally. No, oh, geez, don't do it. Okay, we're gonna hold off on a second. Lorelei is, uh... Come over here, sweetie. She just jumped up right in front of the TV and then started... Over here, come on. And then she was looking up at it like she wanted to go start chasing things on the screen again. Come on, Lorelei, over here. Over here. 
I've already lost one run today because you tried to knock the top loader off. There you go. Lorelei is here. Now I've got a cat hair in my nose. Yep, that's her chasing after Freddy's hand when I was playing A Nightmare on Elm Street. You wanna say hi, Lorelei? That was a good look into the camera. I, th I think she's been trained. She wants to, uh, she wants to scratch Laura pretty good. Awesome. All the, ca all the cats want all the attention right now. One. Two. That was an early dodge. Lucky I didn't take a hit there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I was tempted to try to do the interrupt where you throw it before he starts hitting you, but that's just really risky for this. Right, Lorelei. Are you com are you communicating telepathically with Desi? She's giving me the look like I don't want to speak. I don't want to tell you about the secret the secret communication abilities of cats. Jeez, I don't like this. These lake zombies have been incredibly aggressive. Alright, that's fine. This, they are. Are you part of the Secret Cat Society? <laughs> I wish I had, like, I had a camera up there pointing into her face right now. Jeez, oh, I got cat hair in my nose. And I almost lost my grip on the D-pad. That would have been bad. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. That's not good. That wasn't good either. That was bad. There we go. I think that was five. I'm not gonna do anything really aggressive or risky here though. Someone did a jump scare and I can't look. Come on. Okay, this is getting bad. There we go, finally. Thanks for the jump scare, Chaser. <laughs> I was like, I know, I know someone used a jump scare, but I can't find out who. Okay, Paul is over there. We're fine. That was a long battle. Oh no, it has had to be dusk. Okay, we're just gonna wait until he starts attacking Paul. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's hear that buzzer. Alright, good. No more zombies or so. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Only two zombies on the screen at a time. <laughs> oh, that was rough. I was like, I didn't want it to, this is what I was worried about, is that little situation there, like getting slightly clipped by a zombie. Uh, clearly Sam Elliott's had quite a few, I think he's the leader in uh, jump scares. All right, last battle. 
could this be a one night challenge? What do you think, Lorelei? One night? Let's hope so. My hand is sweaty. All right, here we go. We got 11 hits left. Got to make sure to blink. Deep breath. Ten. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Five. She's moving. This is a problem. Whew. My eyes are starting to get sore. I need to start getting hits here. I don't know how many I have left. I think three or four. I think that's three left. Two. One. Zero. And the first night of the challenge, Laura Damageless is done. Death to Laura. And now we celebrate. Oh, that's not a very good one. Yeah. 